Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's the Pet Platypus here, and it's time to review another episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. This episode has an amazing introduction, okay? We get Yusuke vs. Jin, the finale. Animation is on point through and through. Even when characters are just saying simple lines of dialogue, the animation looks really great. And Yusuke does use a spirit wave, and what pretty much happens is Jin comes down with his Wamu from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Divine Sandstorm, and Yusuke catches it by channeling his spirit energy into that spot, and I'll get to what that's similar to in a second, and then he blocks it, throws another arm out, blocks it with a leg, gets his arm ready, epic punch, sends him flying in the air, crashes down into the stands, slides down, doesn't make the 10 count, and it's done. And then we have Genkai explain that it's like basically using the entire body as like a spirit energy, you know, instead of just focusing in your fingers, he focuses on the entire body. Very similar to Nen from Hunter x Hunter, uh, once again. It really feels like spirit energy from Yu Yu Hakusho was the inspiration for Nen completely. Like, Togashi basically just reused the idea made it a little bit more restrictive. Oh, well, I don't want to say more restrictive. Well, I mean, it was, but not in a bad way. Just more complex, more restrictive. But it has very, 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 very similar concepts throughout the entire series of Yu Yu Hakusho so far. So, yeah, I think it's cool. You know, kind of weird that he reused the exact same concept, but I do like that how he expanded on it and, you know, did all that stuff. So, yeah, the Spirit Wave, badass, aw awesome fucking punch. Good explanation and all that. Then we have some bullshit. <laughs> some straight up fucking bullshit. The last dude steps in, Yusuke's ready to fight him, and then fucking Mr. Sleazy ass, straight up conservative Republican douchebag. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> but straight up fucking douchebag. He comes in and he's like, here's some fucking money. You see that green? Like, I know I'm a human. I know you're a demon, but uh, we all speak the language of green, right? Proving Leorio's fucking truth when Leorio was speaking in the beginning of Hunter x Hunter about how money rules all. Clearly being shown here. He pays them off and they're like, oh, well, the announcer took too long with the 10 count, so it's a double loss. And even the announcer, she's like, whoa, fuck, what? No bullshit. But... It ends up almost being a victory for that guy, or it doesn't be a victory for that guy. It's a double loss for Yusuke, so he can't fight. And then Kuwabara, oh, for the win, yo, Kuwabara steps up, and he's like, you guys can't go on a rampage, you know, we're no better than them, we gotta do this like men. And then fucking Hiei has like a sarcastic remark, and then Kuwabara, he's like, bite my ankle, shorty, that was funny as fuck. And then you have Kurama, like, you'd think they're in-laws, that, that was hilarious, I absolutely loved that scene. And, yeah, we get some stuff with Keiko and Kuwabara's sister and Botan outside. They meet up with Yukina, I believe her name is. Hiei's sister has now shown up. And she has healing powers. Convenient! My phone just vibrated. But convenient as fuck that she has healing powers. I mean, Kuwabara, the fight already started, so I don't think she can heal him at this point. But we'll have to see. She's obviously going to play a part. Another funny scene with Botan where she remembers Hiei, and Hiei's like... Basically, if you talk about, well, I'll say his exact quote, but it's basically, you know, tell her that I'm his, her brother and you're dead. And he's like, you talk, you die. It was funny as fuck. And then fucking, uh, um, Botan's, like, all detailed face and stuff. That was really funny. Um, uh, well, it wasn't, like, really funny. It wasn't as good as Bite My Ankle, Shorty. That was fucking a great quote. That's, like, the quote of this fucking Dark Tournament arc. But anyways. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much... Kobaro's gonna fight this guy. We get a tiny glimpse of his powers when even his own team members are protesting this cheating bullshit. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what he does. Look kind of like rock ish type stuff. I'm not sure, but, um, he just kind of made it materialize. But, yeah, Yusuke vs. Jin was absolutely awesome. Fucking phenomenal animation for that scene. Uh, the rest of the episode had perfectly fine animation. It was paced well overall. Um, I believe I covered everything in the episode. Oh yeah, Tagoro was even pissed off. I thought Tagoro was going to actually step up and be like, Hey, uh, he has money, but I could kill you, so change the rules. I thought he was going to do that, but no, he didn't. But yeah, still, it was a great episode. Uh, like I said, great animation for the first half-ish, you know, first, like, fourth of the episode, and the rest of it was fine. You know, Yukina showing up, that's a new dynamic to the arc. 
we don't know, like, if, well, you guys know, I don't know if she's going to finally find Hie and they're going to actually talk about it, or if it'll still be kept secret, but she can heal. So I'm imagining something's going to happen involving that. She wouldn't have shown up at this moment. Super fucking convenient. Convenient! I like saying it like that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. She wouldn't have shown up like this at such a convenient moment if she wasn't going to play a part. So we'll just have to see where that goes. But uh, I thought it was a really good episode. I'll probably get like an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was great. Spirit Wave and everything was fucking awesome. It's a nice twist. You know, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know what's going to happen to, a to Kuwabara. I don't know how they're going to win. I read the manga a long time ago, but I've completely forgotten. So I don't know where it's going. That's great. Uh, you know, everything else I already said was great. So it's a great episode. 8.5 out of 10. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode of Yu Yu Hakusho in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.